What is up guys, Joel here back with another video and today we're going to take a look at Quick Reply which is going to be one of the newest features available on iOS 8. Now I'll be covering more features in future videos so do stay tuned for that and, and be sure to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss those videos. But in this video I wanted to go over Quick Reply and messages and see some new things that's available for iOS 8. Now Quick Reply is something we've been waiting for for the longest and it is about damn time Apple. Uh, but if we go ahead and send myself a message here, you will see that I have the message pop up here. And if I simply pull down, we now have the option to quickly reply to that message. So whether you're in an app or you're in your home screen, uh, you can simply reply back quickly and be like, hey, so go ahead and send that off. And then now we can go on with what we were doing. Now, if I go ahead and send myself another text message once again, now I'll see that I can actually just dismiss it by swiping up. But again, if I swipe down, you also probably saw that little microphone on the right hand side. Now what that little microphone does is it allows you to simply hold down, hey, what's going on? And then send a quick little voice memo to that person without having to open up the messages app or anything like that. So you can actually send quick little voice memos uh, to that person. And once you send it, they will of course receive it and then be able to hear that message, which is pretty awesome. Instead of you having to type it out and stuff, you can go ahead and say it and then send it off as a little voice memo. Now, when it comes to the lock screen, if we go ahead and lock our device here and we go ahead and send off a message, we will see that we get the message here and we'll be able to now swipe to the left and then have more options to that notification. So since this is a text message, I will be able to mark it as red, which is pretty cool. Uh, or I can reply. So if I simply click on reply here, it will allow me to reply to that text message, which will come in handy quite a bit for me at least. And I'm pretty sure many of you guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look, a little closer look at the messages application. So we have that quick reply, which is awesome, but we also have some other features. Uh, so as you see here, uh, this is me talking to myself like a dummy. Uh, but we'll go ahead and check out some more stuff and my phone is going crazy, crazy from me talking to myself. Uh, I have no friends. Don't judge me. Anyways, uh, we have the little microphone here. So what that allows you to do is uh, simply go ahead and hold it down and then you'll be able to record a voice memo. And if you hold it down and then you just go ahead and swipe over to the left, that will actually cancel that voice memo. Or if you go ahead and continue recording, and you still hold it down, but if you swipe up, it's gonna automatically send that to them. So I think that is a pretty cool feature. Uh, something very useful. Now you will be allowed to keep that or you can go ahead and leave it. You do have an options in the settings that will allow you to keep that certain message for 30 days or a whole year. Uh, but anyways, you can just go ahead and tap on keep if you wanna keep it. Of course, if you get multiple of those uh, from various of different people, then it will take up some of your space of your phone. Now you notice that we still have our camera icon here, so let's go ahead and bring that up a little bit. Uh, so now, same thing like the voice uh, icon over there, or the microphone icon, if you hold it down, it will actually pop up the front-facing camera. Oh look, there's a selfie, I don't wanna take a selfie. I'm wearing glasses, guys, uh, because uh, I freaking ran out of my contacts. Anyways, uh, you can go ahead and take a selfie. So we can take a selfie real quick. There it goes. And I didn't take one correctly. Tap on it. Let's go. Okay, it's buggy. Yep. Uh, but if we go ahead and record a voice memo, not a voice memo, but a video here. Oh, look, here's my other device. Uh, you can go ahead and record something and be like, hey, what's going on? I uh, just want to see if you want to meet up later today um, and see my beautiful face. Psych. Not really, uh, but but yeah, so you can do that and uh, send it their way. Uh, you can also replay it here. Okay, so I just reviewed that and noticed that I was talking to myself. Of course, I'm imagining that you guys are sending it to somebody, giving you an example. But if you go ahead and just swipe up here, it's gonna send that video to them and uh, yeah, you can go ahead and go on with your business. Uh, but what's also another cool thing up here on the messages um, is this little feature here. 
So you can actually play that video in the messages app without having to click on it and then it pop up like the video player and stuff like that. So this is awesome. I think that is a pretty cool feature that they enabled on there. But that is some of the cool features uh, for messages and also like quick reply and things like that. Uh, it's gonna have a lot of interactive notifications. I'll go into more detail in a future video covering a little more in depth uh, video covering like all the features, but I wanted to do them individually uh, for now so you can get a, an idea of what is coming for iOS 8. Now this is gonna be iOS beta one. So by the time the full release for the public is gonna be available, uh, I see tons of these new features uh, being very, very awesome. Uh, and I'm really glad Apple has stepped up their game with features, especially quick reply. That's a long awaited little feature that we should have got a long time ago. But anyways, guys, I'm going to be covering more iOS 8 uh, features in future videos. So do stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. But other than that, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video of quick reply slash messages. Uh, as always, go ahead and hit that like button if you did enjoy this video. Not only helps me, but does support the channel as well. Also, if you're not yet, follow me on any of my social networks like Facebook, Twitter, Google+, or Instagram. Uh, go ahead and follow me on those. All the links will be down below in the description. Also, if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any of my future videos like this one and also future iOS 8 uh, feature videos. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. What do you think about iOS 8 if you already checked it out? Uh, do you like it? Do you not like it? And why? Uh, but do stay tuned for future iOS 8 videos. Uh, let me know what you'd like to see. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. All right? Peace.